everyone, this is Sarah, and welcome back to another read-along. Today we're going to be reading out of the book of uh, Romans, chapter 11. Um, before we begin, I'd like to give all glory and uh, thanks to my Lord Jesus Christ, who uh, enables me to do these things, and to reach out to all of you. Alright, so anyway, let's open up our Bibles, okay? And let's start in verse 1 of the, chapter 11. Israel's rejection not total. I say then, has God cast away his people? Certainly not. For I also am an Israelite, Israelite sorry, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people whom he foreknew. Or do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah, how he pleads with God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars, and I, am, I alone am left, and they seek my life. But what does the divine response say to them, him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. Even so then, at, the present, at this present time there is a remnant according to the election of grace, and if by grace that it is no longer of works, otherwise grace is no longer grace, but if it is of works, it is no longer grace, otherwise works is no longer work. What then? Israel has not obtained what it seeks. Israel has not obtained what it seeks, but the elect have obtained it. And the rest were blinded, just as it, as it is written. God has given them a spirit of stupor, eyes that, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, to this very day. And David says, Let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened, so that they do not see, and bow down their back always. Okay. Israel's rejection not final. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Certainly not. But through their fall, to provoke them to jealousy, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Now if their fall is, is riches for the world, and their failure, failure riches for the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am a, an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify, I magnify my ministry, if by any means I may provoke to jealousy those who are my flesh, and save some of them. Okay, he wants... The Israelites to be jealous, so they will seek God. They will really start seeking Him. Okay. For if their being cast away is the reconciling, reconciling of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For if the first first fruit is holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root is holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches are broken off, and you, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, did you hear that? You, being a wild olive tree, were grafted. I'm still seeing all these Christians. I just saw one today, you know, um, who said that, uh, you know, the Palestinians, they, she was agreeing with the Palestinians, saying, well, you know, yeah, the Jews need to stop a occupying Palestine. And that they're, the Palestinians are being oppressed. But, you know, they're being controlled because they're throwing rocks and, and shooting, you know, rockets into people's homes. Right? Now, I know that there are evil people in Israel, you know, as well. I mean, the Jewish community as well. You know, I don't think that uh, all the Israelites or all the Jews are saints. Okay? Just like there's bad people in every single nation. However, okay, as Christians, we are grafted into their, their, their tree, okay? And they are God's chosen people. They are Yahweh's people. Yeshua was born in Israel, okay, as a Jewish man. Get over it, okay? So, you know, it says that we are a wild olive tree, and we were grafted in among them. And with them became a partaker of the root, and the fatness of the olive tree. Do not boast against the branches. Do not boast against the branches. Since some of you can't get that into your head, maybe you ought to highlight it. I'm not speaking to, to the majority of true believers, but the ones that, you know, are coming up against Israel, okay, and posting disgusting you know, flags, Israeli flags that are burning and have Nazi signs on them. Excuse you, but it says here, okay, 
Do not boast against the branches. You are a wild olive tree and you were grafted in among them. Okay, so that's Romans 11 verses, uh, well, 17 and 18. Look it up. I didn't say this. The Lord did. Okay, through Paul, his apostle. So, do not boast against the branches. But if you do boast, remember that you do not support the root. The root supports you. You will say then, branches are broken off that I might be grafted in. Well said. Because of unbelief, they were broken off. And you stand by faith. That is true. Do not be haughty, but fear. All right? Not be, fear is not in like being afraid and like that, but having respect, reverence. For if God did not spare the natural branches, if God did not spare the natural branches, the Jews, the Israelites, his people, he will not spare you either. Therefore, consider the goodness and severity of God on those who fell, severity, but towards you, goodness. If you continue, if, there's the word if again. So many people, so many Christians miss that if. If you continue in his goodness. Otherwise, you, will all, you also will be cut off. And they also, if they, do, if they do not continue in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God is able in, to graft them in again. So, you know, the Jews that rejected him, if they, you know, if they turn back to him, okay, then he will graft them in. That's what it says. All right. So, anyway, um, where was I? And they also, if they, can, if they do not continue in unbelief, that is, they will be grafted in. So we talked about that. Verse 24. For if you were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these, who are natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? You know, it's not rocket science, people. All right. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. Do not be ignorant of the mystery. Yeah, uh, okay? You are grafted in. If you, are, if you call yourself a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ, then you are grafted into his tree. You're grafted in with his branches, the natural branches, being the people of Israel. Yes, there is a chosen people there. I've seen a Christian lady on, there, on here today on uh, Facebook saying, you know, that God doesn't choose other, you know, nations over, you know, he doesn't have a special chosen people. Uh, hello, I mean. Her Bible must have an inch thick of dust then, you know, because, you know, it's saying it right here. I mean, come on. So, anyway. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should not, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion. This is not replacement doctrine, folks. Stop it. The blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. Yeah. And so all Israel will be saved. All Israel will be saved, as it is written. The Deliverer will come out of Zion, and he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant with them, when I take away their sins. Concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But concerning the election, they are enemies. Yes, the Jews are enemies for your sake. But concerning the election, they are beloved for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. For as you were once disobedient to God, yet have now obtained mercy through their disobedience. It's because they disobeyed we have mercy. Even so, these also have been disobedient now have been have now been disobedient, that through the mercy shown you, okay, they also may attain, obtain mercy. For God has committed to committed them all to disobedience, that he might have mercy on all. Okay? They are his example, okay? Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Ah, his wisdom is far above ours. Okay, so stop being wise in your own, you know, thought processes. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Good question. Or who has become his counselor? Can anyone counsel the Lord? No, his ways are far above ours. And who has gi first given to him and it shall be repaid to him? For of him and through him and to him are all things. Get it? For him, for of him and through him and to him 
are all things. Okay, him, Jesus Christ. To whom be glory forever. Amen. All right, so I'm going to end my uh, video here. All right, so this is for all of us Christians, the Gentile Christians, you know, for us to not get a big head, okay? You need to keep, you know, being humble. God did not create a replacement doctrine. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Okay, Abba Father, Yahweh, He's the same. He's the same God, okay? And He did not disown the Jews. Alright? But He is using them as an example. Okay? And He has grafted us into His chosen people's branches, the natural branches. You know, and He is the main root in the vine. They are the original branches, they are the natural branches, and we are the ones that have been cultivated in. So, you know, take a pin or something and poke a hole in that big inflated head and, you know, and humble ourselves. We need to humble ourselves and repent if we're thinking that way. For the rest of you who are not thinking that way, blessed are you. <laughs> you have Holy Spirit discernment. And you will do well with the Lord, okay? For the rest of you, repent. All right, so that's all for now. I love you all, and I pray that you're blessed in Yeshua's name. Bye, I'm out.